first of all, nobody ever gets to hear 8,000 people laugh at your jokes. I'm not Dave Chappelle. Like, this was amazing. <laughs> and I uh, also, we were so, we were just so proud of that moment because I think there's that, that feeling when people have true joy, like, that comes out of the sound that comes from yes. surprise and joy and wonder, like, Oh my gosh, how amazing is that to make one of those moments? But this thing, like, people are just like, what? Like, that's the best part of it. Like, it's still happening. This scene is still happening. This scene is still happening. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. I, I love it. That um, was exactly the reaction. That's, that's, <laughs> I know. I, I, I feel it, too. Even when I watch it, I've seen it. But every time, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't. I can't believe we're getting away with this. It's still, it's, it's shocking. I'm so thrilled that people are going to actually see it now because there's just, when you try to explain it, it people uh, can't grasp <laughs> what it really what is like. Fun. Yeah, it, it's got a lot going on mm -hmm. in it too when you think about like what they're saying and why they're saying it and who they're saying it to. What these women are doing for each other in this backstage moment, I think is really uh, loving and sweet, but also just um, honest about how women are when they're helping each other out. You know? So what was, your, what was your goal when you wrote this scene? Why did you write it? Uh, well, my goal, my, my goal, hmm. that's interesting because I think there's more than one goal when yeah. you go to do a scene like this. Yeah. Like there's a story element that we're, we need to hit. There's a, um, a reason that Vanellope needs to be in this room. When it's over, it needs to set up the reason that she's leaving it, right? And what happens next? So that's your, as your storyteller, that's your goal. Um, my hope was that it was entertaining. Um, uh, I, I was hoping the subversive uh, goal would get through, and that was the risky part, right? Like, we're talking about something, is, is the studio ready to talk about itself this way? And it felt like it was really, you know, working on Moana made me see a lot of changes. Frozen, like I came in when Frozen was almost over. So watching the, the studio um, embrace princesses and, 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 and ready to talk about them in a new modern way. And, uh, what does it mean to want to be a, Dis a Disney princess? Um, yeah, so that was a little scary, but then I thought, well, let's let's see if we can do it. Yeah. So that was a that was a you know, goal is a weird word to use for that, I think, because it's a ho it's a hope more than a goal, right? Yeah. Because you can't. It's not up to me. This is you know I'm one person working on this. This isn't my moving in any way. So right. I can try to contribute what I bring to the table as a you know a feminist and a writer and a mom and a girl who grew up not necessarily feeling like a Disney princess. I felt more like Tigger. <laughs> you know, but like you know, that's its own kind of royalty. Right? Um, yeah, so you have hopes, I think, in, in more than goals, and um, and hope that you have a, a room that um, appreciates what you're bringing to the table. Did the actresses like? kind of say, oh, I think, like, Jodie Benson's been Ariel since right. forever. Yes. You know, she is Ariel. So it's did so she nuts, come yeah. in and she's too, like, oh, we need to make sure she says this? Or did any of them kind of add to the script of their characters because they know them so well? Oh, they all added. Absolutely. Awesome. Where they were like, oh, yes. And it's so funny watching them, too, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. Like, it, it, some of it is just who they are mm -hmm. now, and that's surreal. You feel like you're meeting, you know, you're meeting two people at the same time. Yeah. Um, but yes, like, like uh, I would not use contractions, you know, was one where I was like, oh, I've never thought that, you know, you don't, you don't know them that, that well. But she's obviously said a lot of lines for her and been her. And, um, yeah, I would, yeah, across the board, every single one would talk about what it was like being, you know, living this way, but also what it was like being this, this character. What's it like creating a subculture underneath a subculture? Because now you have literally women who are trying to find their princess for their larger group. Yes. And they're planning to dress like them in yes. this scene. They're planning to go to the parks together. Like they want to make sure every princess is represented in their group. Mm -hmm. And this is from years to come. This is what's going to happen. What does that feel like? First of all, I'm glad we can have comfy Halloweens. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. There's a goal. There's a goal. Put that on your goal list. Can we have a comfy Halloween and still be empowered? Um, it is. Look, I'm no stranger to the internet and things going viral and being like, oh, did you see there? There's this thing. Like it takes off. Um, same thing with Moana. You know, or in watching people around the world. Or it, well, on our research trip for Moana, we were in Samoa and little girls are singing, do you want to build a snowman? Like, they don't have snow. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's not something that you can really 
imagine and picture. It's uh, once you see it, it is. I keep using the word surreal, but that is definitely how it feels. Because like that pancake milkshake stand out there, like you have to understand. I was like, so my daughter has this game, and I'd made up. I had made up like the concept of pancake milkshake, and then you know the team obviously took it and did what they do. But it is crazy to think like. My daughter has this game, about, and, I, and I would like to make fun of like toddler games, how simple they are. And now you guys are gonna have <laughs> pancakes and milkshakes. You've been, through, you've shot bunnies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this is the pancakes and milkshakes. Yeah. Yeah. This is not, yeah. This is not what. It, at a certain point, you're you're in awe, but you're also like it's so bigger than you. It's not. It, it's just its own. That's I guess that subculture too. That's not me. That's other people wanting to be a part of the film or be a part of that feeling it's a yeah that's what it is it's other it's people there's a feeling out there that people get to take part in and that's that's really neat by the way i was ariel for halloween yeah were you were you comfy ariel i was comfy ariel yeah we were comfy ariel Ariel, i think might still be the coldest (laughs) right Yeah. <laughs> she has a shirt, but it's, you know, it's got essences of her old bra self. Old. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is our picture. So oh my god. We Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you're, well, first of all, you guys all chose to have open toed shoes. You could have had socks. There's nothing in that scene that says you can't wear socks or hugs. I hope they would have let us in the park like that. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Yeah, I like know. I, I, there's always a, I don't know. I have to cry at every event that I go to. And, I know. And this is this is the one. <laughs> um, I meet people now who, you know, see Moana and, and want to talk about Moana, and um, there is something about her that makes people um, need to cry to talk about how much she matters to their kids. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and you're really you're talking to the media. And I'm aware, like, we're talking to the movie, because how else do we get to tell the movie thank you, like, or tell Moana thank you for what she, um, what she can do to a, a, a young, not even a, just girls, like, what she can do to a young person's ability to go farther than your dreams, you know. Um, it's very special, so I, I hear no pain, and um, not happy, and that it's time to talk about things. I mean, we often just... Oh, well, I don't want to bother him. I, I don't want him to be upset with me. And I'll, I'll wait or I'll fix it. It's my problem to fix. And a, a relationship can't grow if we don't talk to each other when it's hard. So that's kind of that's kind of neat. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they all get that. You know? I know. I'm excited to see it. So.